Welcome back to the Hardcore series. As you can see, we're back at the garage. Gonna fix this up. Ouch. Try and get a better working suspension. Oh, good grief. Nope. 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 Uh... Just wish they weren't so stiff, you know? Like, there's something really weird going on with the game itself, not with the truck. Uh, we'll try that one out real quick. Right, leave the tires we have. And now we'll prepare this truck for its journey. Stock transmission raised. Not going to bother with the tires. At least it has diff lock, that's something going for it. And I'm not gonna bother with the snorkel. Oh, that's somewhere around Michigan. Let's get through all of this. Saddle high. We'll skip all of that, and now we will fully repair this. Throw the DLC paint job on. Yeah, I'm going to put that on because I know I need all the help I can get with the lights. Same for that. Cabin protector. Side thresholds. Yeah, just because. Windshield stickers, what do we have? Oh, regular. Off-road. Okay, why not? Saber tooth. And exterior stickers and everything else. We'll just leave that alone. So, without further delay. Oh. I was hoping I could just, like, bump the starter. Oh, well. Go down to... Okay, so, take... Two. Quick test for the 750's new suspension. It's hilarious how much bigger this thing is compared to the 750. Excuse me, the C70. Yeah, we're also going to find out what the sale value of that trailer is. And hook one. Hook up one of the pod trailers to this one. Oi! Don't. Yeah, that would have been bad. Stop engine. C70. Yep. Yeah, I also checked out the cost of fuel in this game. Or rather, in this mode. And it's expensive. So if you have the option to pick up a fuel trailer like I've done here, I highly, highly recommend it. Attach the trailer. Now we'll just sell it. What can we get for the little sideboard here? Which, by the way, I have a strong dislike for the axle on this trailer. Where is it? That's odd. The game usually shows you. There it is. Trailer already. You can't sell it, you can only destroy it. So I dragged that back here for nothing. Oh, that's a slightly bit annoying. Sorry for the quick zoom in. Okay, Pog, Viking, Tilt Deck. Flatbed Transport Trailer. And it's four slots. That's quite the investment, though. No. Not gonna do that. Oh yeah, that's uh, one of the Cot 76 trucks. Cot RS. I forget his username. I'll put a link to his trailer pack in the description. It's a great trailer pack. Not that thing. Three slot. Hmm. Not gonna lie. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one for four, for the four slots. Because this way I can transport. 
vehicles. Wherever they might need to go. Plus it gives me four slots in conjunction with the 750's flatbed. Essentially gives me a five slot truck. The animations Pog puts into his mods are so cool. So now we'll top off this truck and run it through the gauntlet. I have never, I barely drove this truck at all during the campaign originally. So, I expect this is going to go very badly, especially putting as much weight as I'm about to behind it. Okay, it's already made it further than I thought it would. Yeah, this is going to be bad. It's always a good sign when you get stuck in the middle of the road. Not really, that's heavy sarcasm. Yeah, this is going to go terribly. This thing so badly needs all-wheel drive. So, a little cheat. Really? It's not going to let me do it? Okay, fine. Yep, I was waiting for that. Okay, I'll take it. That shouldn't have worked, but it did. So I'd like to take this moment to say that I'm really not fond of the vanilla game transmission options. Because of a medium duty truck like this is going to have a 5 speed manual transmission with a high low range splitter. So I should be able to theoretically go into high gears and low gears. Run, pull, don't break, don't break, don't break. Basically what I'm saying is I should have the option to have a variety of different gears. Instead I only really have one low gear and five automatic gears. So, just a little bit of a pet peeve. And now you see why I decided to take the time to complete those tasks and run it around on the pavement instead of oh, great that is nasty mud. I decided to run this truck through the pavement instead of trying to take it through the muddy back road. Yeah we'll pick up that lost fuel trailer it's over there somewhere with the 750 once we deliver this. <laughs> This should go well, considering I've never towed anything this big with this Kodiak. If I get stuck here, I will not be happy. Yeah, momentum is your friend when you don't have all-wheel drive. And sometimes, even when you have all-wheel drive. Yeah, so it's highly advised to stay out of the deeper mud. Unlike what I'm doing. There we go. Clean some of the mud off the tires and heck in business.
forget, what's the horn sound like on this? Yeah. Need a, ouch. Needs a better horn. Oh, yeah. Forgot to reinitiate the task. Yeah, there it is. Start tracking. Also, if at all possible, don't stop on hills. Bit of a nasty section here. Is that bowed? Well... Bad idea. Really, really bad idea. Yeah, this was not smart. Yeah, I really wish I had the capability to put the truck into high gear. Try and momentum bounce my way through this. Well, so far it's gotten a little bit further than I expected it would. I just noticed I'm at 45 gallons. Of this doesn't work. Probably going to have to get the 750 to rescue it. Well, come be impressed, because I did not think this thing would do so well through here. Oh boy. Oh, great. Wonderful. Okay, so put it onto that tree. Oh, come on. Hey. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that could have gone a lot better. So, F-750 to the rescue. Yeah, this suspension behaves far better. At least for how I drive. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, come on, come on, come on. And that's why you don't take shortcuts. Still, the Kodiak was impressive with how far it got just with rear wheel drive. That was interesting. But back to the Kodiak, it's impressive how far it went with just rear wheel drive and street tires. So I'll keep the 750 close by. In case I need another recovery. But, we'll continue to upgrade the little Kodiak and see what its limits are. I was not expecting that. So, should be able to pull 
that back over with this thing. Pretty easily. Okay. I think that's the... Yeah, that's the... Oh, right. Wrong gear. Uh... Okay, was not expecting it to go that easily. Yep. So, let's try this. Should sort of pop it free, maybe? Let's see. So that which winch point to that tree instead. May as well try and back up. Yeah, that's not gonna happen apparently. Oh boy. Bit of a winch bounce here. I am not sure how that worked, but I will take it. Oh man, I'm just end of the road was right here. Yeah, that's embarrassing. I can still hear the four from up here. So, yeah. We'll probably leave the Kodiak over here at the factory. Unless and until we find more parts for it. Okay, come on, stay up there, stay up there. No, don't you even think about it. hate having to go into low gear. It's because it's so painfully slow and I don't have any gear options to make it even my, a little bit faster. See, if I had low plus in this transmission, then I could have probably gotten at least a little bit further up this hill just on momentum. Taping again where these tires are the happiest. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep the Kodiak here as an experiment to see how far those sticks just like hanging out in midair. We can push a vanilla truck like the Kodiak. This is getting old in a hurry. But yeah, we're probably going to go and pick up something like the IX3880 as quickly as we can. And it will have its more vanilla oriented options instead of the OP gear because the OP gear costs 30,000 credits. So, yeah, I'm not going to run anything a little... I'm not going to run anything too crazy on the 3880. The one place I may make an exception would be Amandra. That place chews up and spits out everything. Well, not a bad way to end this particular video. I really wish the camera wouldn't do that. So yeah, we'll probably try and take that trailer at some point with this truck. 
Hopefully, though, we'll have at least all-terrain tires available for it by that point in time. Anyway, if you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, let me know what you think, and see you in the next one.